All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. How are you? I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing great. And this side mission opened up the moment we uh, finished talking to the Tiernahak. So we're going to go see what they need here at Eden. What the? Take it. Take it all. There you go. Brother. Oh, there you are, Your Excellency. The Enlightened has heard my prayers. What's going on? Where are the others? After deciphering the content of the tablets, they went north to continue their research in some swamps. Uh, but they must have encountered problems. Brother Fidelis came back here, and he was in a dreadful state. What happened? He most likely came to seek help, but he fainted. It's impossible for us to know what happened to them. I am not a doctor, but I may be able to examine him. Oh, please do. Any help would be appreciated. We've done our best, but our magic has proved inefficient. And the healer we sent for will certainly arrive too late from San Mateus. All right. I don't know. Maybe we should collect. Oh, no, he's right here. Never mind. This man is burning up with fever, and he bears several bite marks and traces of blows. The flesh is swollen around the bites. Perhaps the creature that bit him was venomous. Have you tried giving him any antipoison? Of course, but to no avail. And what if it were a hex cast by the heretics? They don't do hexes. No matter what happens, you always suspect them. Why, of course. The savages are always to blame. The man was in the swamp. There are some rare animals there, and their venom is terrible. A healer from the area will know the antidote. We could ask Lair. He will direct us to someone who understands remedies. All right, sounds good. He's on the other side of town. Can I just drop? I cannot, that's lovely. Gotta take the ramps like a normal human being. of the planet Omicron per CIA. On Olmanawi, you've come back to see old Lair. Yes, I oh, have. I heard that you managed to retrieve the tablets. Did Vindwal tell you? Yes, and oh, we feel more at peace, knowing that our brothers are alive and that they will be able to join another clan. And you proved me right. Peace with the Renaixe is possible. I need your advice. You may already know that one of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. I heard about it. He has all the symptoms of a poisoning, but the antipoisons we gave him had no effect. He must have been bitten by a creature of the swamp, and we're looking for a healer who would know of a suitable antidote. So, you came to see me. Interesting. Our neighbors did not think for one moment that we could be helpful. Alas, our Donegad is one of the exoils. But Vindwal knows plants well. She will know. Thank you. I will go see her. I hope she agrees to help us. Thanks, Lair. I have to go. Very much appreciated, so buddy. Many others. All right, out we go. Oh, wait, nope. Give me that. Right, where is she? Oh, just deeper in the camp. Oh, Jesus. It's like there's a bunch of dust floating around over here. Vindwal! Oh, wait, that's the lady who helped us before. Or... Yeah, who we spoke to at least. 
Here you are again. What do you want? I have come to ask for your help. Lair told me you know about remedies. I do know a few of them. I have learned about plants. I used to want to become a Donegad. One of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. Apparently he was bitten by a creature of the swamp. And now he has the Lawolan fever. We have a good knowledge about this affliction. He will die if he does not receive proper treatment. What do you we know need to which do? antidote should be given to him? Yes. These priests are idiots. Ah! They could have asked for our help, but they treat us like children. You, you are different. And you have allowed my son to join a new clan. So, I will give you the potion to cure the priest. Wait a moment. Make him drink this remedy and he'll get better. Thank you, Ventual. Okay. Got some medication for him. It, it, I can go this way, right? Yes, excellent. All right, buddy, time to drink up. Got your NyQuil. Where am I? You're in Eden. You are safe. I... Was I unconscious for a long time? The, the other members of the expedition, they are in danger. The swamp is so hostile. We weren't prepared for it. S some of our people have disappeared. What caused these wounds? A nightmarish creature. The swamp is full of them. A colleague and I had left to fetch some help when we were attacked. I managed to run away, but I don't know what happened to him. As for those who were at the camp, you must go help them. Show me the location of your colleagues on the map. I will join them. There. Please, hurry. Not Thank a problem. You. you should rest now. All right, let's go find them. Okay, so it's in another pre region, or part of the map at least, but we can fast travel. If we've been there. Swamp camp entrance. Oh, right there. So we okay. So we can do that. Travel. And this is all we got to do is take this path. Hop down. There we go. This is closer towards where we found Afra at. Oh shit, oh shit. Think we're clear? Yep. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we're obviously getting a little bit close. I can't go over this, really? There we go. Camp up here, yes. Let's push forward and just establish a camp. Alright, 
so seems as if we can go up and around been incorrect about that but that looks like there's an incline that I can't climb up so we'll we'll just have to see this way just keep going forward till we reach that other inlet right here by the corpse of course I'm carrying too much getting closer to the camp. I feel like I'm about to be ambushed by some beasts. I don't like it. I need to get rid of some of the stuff I've picked up. suggested by the tablets I have hey what's happening here I could hear you from miles away your excellency I'm so happy to see you you arrive right on time to settle this matter how did you manage to find us in the middle of this swamp brother Fidelis managed to reach Eden he's the one who told us where your camp was but he didn't leave alone what happened to father Aubricus who was accompanying him he must be dead like our other companions this is all your fault. This is yet more proof that you are not fit to lead such a team. I should be the one in charge. Maybe you should calm down and explain to me what's happening here. This expedition was undertaken with no concern for common sense. We are not equipped to explore this type of place. Our people are disappearing, and all we have found are some falsified writings. Brother Virgil is terrified, which probably explains why he is being so disingenuous. We have made incredible discoveries, and we could find more. You are beyond redemption. I won't waste another second talking to you. If you want to talk to me, Your Excellency, it will have to be without her. How charming. Gotta love camp drama. Okay. Let's talk to her first, see what she wants, what she's up to. Your Excellency, I hope you will forgive us for that scene. My relations with Virgil have always been difficult, but ever since we arrived here, it has been unbearable. I'm afraid we may need an arbiter. Before anything else, I need to know what has led to this situation between you. Yeah, fill what me in. What would you like to know? Everything. Uh, reasons for the quarrel. Brother Fidelis told me that several members of the expedition have disappeared. Yes, that's why he left along with Father Aubricus to fetch some help. Three more of our colleagues are missing, and I'm not even talking about the ones who fell ill. I must admit that I underestimated the hardships we would encounter. I made a mistake. I should have prepared this expedition more thoroughly. But Virgil's being disingenuous does not help. And no one has searched for those who are missing. 
I wanted us to search for them, but someone later convinced me that it presented too much of a risk. Along with lack of preparation, our constantly decreasing number, and creatures swarming the area. And by someone, I suppose you mean Brother Virgil. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah, he sounds like he wants you dead so he can lead the expedition. For what reason were you quarreling? The expedition itself, I'm afraid. Virgil was always against it, especially under my supervision. For him, our discoveries in Eden were sufficient. They confirmed what he wanted. The rest did not matter. According to him, we should never have continued. And when we found new tablets, it became even worse. Were they also written by St. Matthias? Without a doubt, the handwriting is the same. There are also some patterns, some islander symbols. It's fascinating. But what really angers Virgil is the content we managed to decipher. Our founder explains that he learned a lot from the islanders. Something our brother cannot accept. He now persists in saying that these tablets are fake, forged by the natives themselves. Why I'm thankful they do that? for these pieces of information. But you understand that I will also have to talk to Brother Virgil. Of course, that's understandable. You must hear us both before you can make a decision. Wait. Oh, he's up there. Hold on, let's see if I can uh, deconstruct enough stuff to not be an issue. Alright, we're good. I can move now. Brother Virgil, let's have a chat, shall we? Brother Virgil. What do you want? Brother Fidelis told me that some of your colleagues went missing. Do you know anything about this? They did not go missing. They were killed. It was the wild beasts, the diseases, and let's not forget the savages. We can feel their presence roaming around the camp at night. I am certain that they are responsible death of our colleagues. That's strange. There aren't many villages around here. There aren't any. There are a few hermits, but they are not fighters. And they have better things to do than roam around their camp at night. Those savages may very well have been following us since our departure. We will not be safe on this island until it is entirely converted. I see. So, you haven't tried to find your colleagues. So we can die as well. Huh. I am not as crazy as Sister Eugenia. Yeah, but then you, you can't make assumptions about their death until you have their corpses. Can you explain to me what caused such a quarrel? The reason for it is very simple. It is Eugenia's folly. This woman should never have been the supervisor of our team. The discoveries made in Eden were sufficient, but no. She didn't want to stop the research. She organized this expedition in a hurry without taking elementary precautions, and now she's accepting as facts the delirious writings we discovered on these tablets without doubting them for even one second. What do you mean? We found some new tablets, allegedly written by Saint Matthias, but their content is so absurd that they were obviously forged. I am certain that the natives must have found these stones before us and modified their content. How would they have done that? The natives cannot write. They must have been helped by an unscrupulous settler. How would I know? Yeah, how far I fetched does that sound? in your quarrel for now. And, in any case, it is not what matters the most. Even if you think they are dead, we have to try finding your colleagues. Well, if you are prepared to take such a risk, I can only commend you for your bravery and wish you luck. But I would not get my hopes up. You should start by searching the excavation site. To get there, Take the path south of here, but be careful. The creatures that roam the area are ruthless. Oh, trust me, I know. I have uh, fought many beasts of the island before. But let's take a look around, see if we can find the bodies at least. Nothing over this way.
But up here sounds about right. There's a ladder, that's how I get down. Hmm. Let's see if we can summon Afra, see what she has to say. She's a science major. <laughs> um, where is she? there she is? Kurt, you stay right here. Come along with us. Oh my god. She's right there. Okay, fine. This man's skull is sunken, but he doesn't look like he was in a fight. Could he have fallen? If that were the case, there would be other marks of impact on his body. No, he was struck with an object to the back of the head. Given the shape of the wound, it was inflicted with a metal mace. Okay, so somebody killed him. And it, and it does not sound like the natives. Which uh, direction? Just kind of, just a little bit past the camp, like here. Oh shit! Okay, blowing them up is an option, I suppose. Activation site that's probably fragile as hell. clear they've torn this little camp to bits this poor soul was almost entirely devoured he must have been killed by swamp animals indeed he was devoured but he was already dead there is a mark here on the bones that could only have resulted from the strike of a cutting weapon. You're right. He was stabbed before being fed to the animals. But anyone could have used such a blade. Okay. Another mysterious murder. And it looks like we gotta go up this way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bring 
Well, that actually did quite a bit of damage. And here's the last one. These fang marks are impressive. The poor man didn't have a chance. He must have been attacked by a large reptile. Most likely a Lewolan. Hold on. Do you see these iridescent marks on his skin? They look like the marks that the priest's spells leave on their victims. I've seen them many times before. But what was he doing alone so far from the camp? It seems obvious now that these disappearances were orchestrated. The deaths of these people were a deception. Only the Renaigsei are deceitful enough to do such a thing. They kill each other and accuse my people. This virgin, he wants to push aside this woman at all cost. He must be the culprit. Indeed. I think that we should go find this brother and ask for an explanation. Let's put a stop to his antics. Uh, this is this way? Yes, okay. Hello. Brother Virgil, I think you have some uh, explaining to do. We found some of your colleagues dead. Brother Virgil. Your Excellency, weren't you supposed to be looking for our colleagues? Indeed. I regret to say that they are indeed all dead. I knew it. What a waste. Eugenia and her recklessness are to blame for this. I'm afraid someone else is responsible for this. These deaths are not accidental, and yet they were disguised as such. The savages! The thirst for blood is unquenchable. I knew we should never have come without an escort. Watch your tongue, priest. Our people have no need to hide when they protect their land. Only the Renaigze are deceitful enough to disguise a death. Who else could it be? Someone who desperately wanted this expedition to fail. Does that remind you of anyone? Fine. You unmasked me. But know that my cause is righteous. The Ordo Luminous sent me to keep an eye on this expedition, to ensure that the discoveries we made would not jeopardize our nation or our presence on this island. But the inscriptions on the tablets are a heresy, a dangerous manipulation. Can you imagine what would happen if it was said that our founder listened to the teachings of the natives? But even then, foolish Eugenia accepted these discoveries as truth, without any hesitation, without realizing that our entire nation could suffer because of it. So yes, I wanted to scare her. I understand that you might want to protect your nation, but to go as far as assassinating several of your colleagues. Come now. What would you do if someone were threatening the congregation? You cannot make me believe that you would not be willing to kill. You may have already done so, but since you want to avoid using violence, help me convince Eugenia to go back to Eden. My colleagues and I know how to sort through these discoveries. And you will be rewarded, of course. This Renaigse tried to blame my people for these crimes. The priests would have wanted to punish them and innocent people would have died. He must answer for his treachery. Can't bribe me, bitch. It seems to me that all members of this expedition are concerned. They should decide on what to do next. Can't bribe me! Everybody listen. Alas, I must inform you that I found the dead bodies of your missing colleagues. Oh, how awful! What happened to them? Someone wanted us to believe that they were killed by some swamp animals. But it was all staged. Your colleagues were murdered, and their bodies abandoned to the creatures. What? But why do such a thing? And who murdered them? Brother Virgil, 
confess to his crimes in front of me. Monster! You will pay for these crimes. These people you killed were our brothers, our friends. You stupid goose. You really believe that I will let you pass judgment on me? Stupid goose. You shouldn't goose? have been so quick to accept these lies that could destroy our nation and want to reveal them for all to hear. You are solely responsible for these deaths. How dare you present yourself as the protector of our nation? Murderer! Alright, this is gonna be a fight. Think this one. Stay still, please. Got a bunch of stuff. Sister? I'm sorry, sister. Brother Virgil fled during the battle. Oh, the coward. And naturally, his accomplices fled along with him. Oh, what a waste. So many people died. Perhaps I shouldn't have revealed his crimes in front of everyone. But I thought it was the best way of ensuring he would be judged. Considering how high tensions have been these last few days, a fight was inevitable, alas. But you did what you thought was fair. Here. Take this. As a token of gratitude for shedding light on these dismal events. Alas. We will have to go back to Eden as well. There are too few of us to continue the research. Were you hoping to discover more? Of course. This place was but a single step in St. Matthias's journey. The last tablets speak of a journey northbound, further up in the swamp. But even if Virgil is no longer a threat, we are not sufficiently well equipped to go there. We could go there for you, if you wish. You just have to tell us where to look. That would be marvelous. Of course, you would have to start from the excavation site where he wrote this. I think I noticed a path going north when I was there, actually. Look for any traces of life. Perhaps you will be lucky enough to find more of his writings. That would be fantastic. Don't worry. I will conduct this research and come find you here if I uncover anything. All right, let's move on ahead. I don't know why I actually lost reputation with them. That, uh, it's kind of weird, kind of dumb. Let's go back to camp, though. First, because I think, uh, I think that's actually the way we gotta go anyway. Plus, I want to see if that reward's still there, or if it disappeared when I lost one reputation point. Oh, that might be it. So let's actually Cause I can sell some of the stuff. Rather than destroy it all. Okay, so further north. But nope, nope. It's this way. It's around. Sorta. Let me check. Yes, I'm going the right way. They're dead, not sleeping, which is excellent. And we're 
heading this way. Dude, what the hell are you? Okay, we're good. Come on, Siora, come out with them heels. There we go. Shoot the damn thing. Okay. Petrus, you want to come with us? You may find it very interesting. Up here. Oh my god. Actually, not doing that much damage. Okay, that for some reason didn't work. going down.
Let's get... Oh, wow, last second. Okay. Petrus is almost down, but we're almost done with this one. like this when they want to live away from the world. All right. This is incredible. People lived here and amongst them sank in the Alright, we're clear. Looks like it used to be part of an old village. maybe A brazier murals these murals are magnificent if St. Mateus did come here this is where he must have settled let's take a closer look at these paintings we may learn something from them this mural is very ancient. It depicts an old man dressed as a priest, getting his face painted by a masked native. This mural depicts an old man praying in front of a face in the mountain. He's holding a rosary. Saint Matthias, praying to Enon Milfrichtemann. Holy it shit. It looks like a chaplet made of pewter. It's rather basic, but it was made a long time ago. And it undeniably comes from the continent. This is incredible. Saint Matthias is often depicted or described as using a similar chaplet. Oh, I feel so lucky to be here. In this cavern where our founder lived. Engraved tablets. They resemble the ones we recovered in Eden. We should take them with us. The researchers would be delighted to study them. All right, so we get, it's all in here. Oh, this. I do not know these glyphs, but these spirals are native symbols. There are some words in our ancient language next to them. The light and the earth are the two faces of a same power. It's impossible to know if this is a translation or another sentence. 
But this is a message that would seriously displease the Inquisitors. Oh, I cannot believe it. These symbols. They are signs used in the secret writing of the Donegada. Holy shit. Alright, so is that all? Nope, there's this. So was he bound to the there island? Some native symbols here and some letters I recognize. As if someone had tried to write in the native language using our alphabet. Men we stad in on mil fructimen. It means welcome us amongst your people, en on mil fructimen. This is incredible. Saint Matthias would have known about the spirit of the island and would have prayed to him. I don't know if you realize the importance of what we've just discovered. Saint Matthias, the founder of Teleme, finished his life worshipping the Islander's God. This is so incredible. Although it will cause a huge upset for our nation, our cult, and our relations with the natives. I wonder what I should do with these relics. Eugenia probably didn't imagine that Saint Matthias lived his life in a way that's so different from what they advocate. As for Virgil, he wasn't wrong. Such a revelation will certainly cause a schism in Teleme. I understand you must be concerned. Great revelations are often followed by a trail of blood. But if what we found was revealed, my people could live in peace with the priests at last. I already took sides in their quarrel. If I change my mind, I'm afraid that it might be seen as treason. I'll think about it on the way there. Let's go back to the researchers' camp. Okay. Well, we've got this evidence. I think they deserve to know. I really do. Like, I do not suffer religious zealots. And if this is the basis of their foundation, they deserve to know. Let's see if we can just use this to fast travel back to the camp. Sister Eugenia, I have found something very important. So, did you find anything? Or do you need my help? We discovered a cave that was inhabited a long time ago by a whole group of people, mostly natives, who had obviously created a sacred site, as the place was guarded by a creature. And have you found traces of our holy founder? New relics? Perhaps some tablets? There were also frescoes on the site, representing St. Matthias. Frescoes? Tell me more! This is fascinating! He was shown having his face painted by a native. On another, he prayed to the god of the mountain. You... you can't be serious. You mean to say that our saint converted to the cult of the islanders? That is what emerges from our findings, yes. Other objects that I was able to bring back also point in this direction. Look, there are inscriptions. These tablets and also this chaplet. This chaplet? I cannot believe it. It is so... Excuse me. I cannot find the words to express how I feel. You must come with me. We must go and present all these discoveries to the Mother Cardinal. You realize our entire dogma will have to change. So far, Anyone who wanted to question it would have burned their fingers. Literally, alas. And you think that this time they'll listen? We have solid proof. All this evidence. With your support, we will convince her to reveal the truth. I see. I will do my best to help you. Fuck it, yeah, let's go. It seems we are arriving right on time. You did well to warn us, Brother Virgil. 
Virgil. How did you know? I'm afraid that your Excellency's lies weren't very convincing. We were informed of your discoveries and of the danger they represent. We demand that you hand them over to us immediately, so that they can be destroyed. How can you even suggest the destruction of relics written by the hand of our founder? Out of love for our dogma, for our faith, and for our nation. But since you refuse to comply with our orders, you leave us no choice. Death to the heretics! And you see why I don't suffer religious zealots at all? There we go. Woman of the faith. I just fought my own brothers in faith. The fact that the Inquisition is after us is very disturbing, Excellency. We would do well to hasten to San Mateus. They will not dare to attack you there. Even if these men were the last forces that the Inquisition could send us. You are right. All this proves is that I will not succeed without your help. There is a risk that the Mother Cardinal will also reject our discoveries. Ah. Uh. Fortunately, we have some leverage over this, dear Cornelia. And if you will allow me to attend the hearing, I would be delighted to support you. Your help will be precious to us, Father. In any case, we must present our research to Mother Cardinal as soon as possible. I will study the tablets one last time to make sure I know all their content. And I will meet you at the palace in San Mateus to plead our case. Understood. See you soon, Sister Eugenia. Be careful. All right, awesome. Wait, can I not? There we go. Might as well just take all this stuff. Strange. All right, let's go over to camp. Fast travel. See what the mother cardinal has to say about all this. Hopefully she accepts it and doesn't try to kill us in the middle of the room. All right, excellent. I knew I'd be able to take... Uh, this, uh, not detour, but you know. Let's sell some stuff. Ooh. Keep those, why not? And for last but not least, all the this stuff. Right, off we go.
Let's go see what uh, Cornelia has to say about this. Oh wait. Can I go in there now or should I have taken a nap? Nope, I should have taken a nap. That's lovely. Not to worry, it's not going to take us that long to go there, take a nap, and run back. Siora, can I? Oh my God! Hold still. Karanz, do you need something? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago, but this memory is still painful. So we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. I'm Anything sorry. else? Nope. I must leave you. See you later. Just take a nap on the floor. Now let's see what Cornelia has to say about this. What the hell am I stuck on? Ah, Your Excellency. We were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed be a falsification? No, not at all. Talk about the cave, talk about the guardian, talk about the frescoes. The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There's no island or village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardaig. These guardians usually protect sacred places, and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast. Which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He's depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. 
In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? I mean, by whom? It seems that you only see the negative aspects of this discovery. But the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them. Something no other nation has managed to achieve before. It is a good argument, Your Excellency. I hadn't thought about that. I would also like to inform you that a member of the Ordo Luminis was part of the expedition. He tried several times to sabotage it, even killing many of his colleagues for it. And finally, he attacked us, as we were preparing to join San Mateus. Who'd have thought that the remaining members of the Order would go to such extremes? But I fear these attacks are just a reflection of what will happen if your discoveries are made public. Your Eminence. We are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same man as your saint, and that your priests respected our culture as he did, they would be welcomed here as brothers. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You speak sense, princess. Does anyone wish to add anything? I understand your doubts about the future, which are inevitably caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as St. Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet in the end, he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide Telemé today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. After careful consideration, I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. Let me also thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows. Awesome. Isn't that something just to change religious dogma right in front of everybody? That's awesome. Well, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we're going to see what else we can get up to. But uh, until then, I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment. Thank you.